Hi, I'm Lisa Michelle, and I like creating content for new and aspiring entrepreneurs and anyone who just wants to make a little bit of money online. So I'm looking at Pinterest at their printables um, or printables that people have posted on there. And in this video, I want to show you how you can make three printables relatively easily. Now, I know if you're not someone who has design experience or design background, printables may seem intimidating, but I'm going to show you how you can make them relatively easy and make sure you watch the video all the way until the end because I'm going to show you how you can make one of them in under five minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to Canva. And this is a paid account on this one. And you'll see why in a few minutes. But the first one that we're going to make is a mileage tracker. And these are sold on Etsy as single pages. And you can also put them all together to create a mileage tracker to sell on Amazon KDP. All right, so right now I'm just creating a bunch of lines that I'm going to duplicate and then drag down here. All right, now we're not you know, perfectly even, so we'll go ahead and select them all, go to position, space vertically, and tidy up. And now they're relatively uniform. So I don't want them as heavy, so I'll go over here and bring the line weight down to two and then change the color from black to gray just so it's not so bold. All right, so here we have our lines for our tracker. All right, so now what I want to do is duplicate one of these lines and we'll go ahead and make our uh, columns. Okay. Down. Okay, all right. Move this over. All right, now everything I'm doing up to this point you can do with a free account, but I will show you something um, in a minute that you're not able to do with the free account, unfortunately. You can do it with another free tool, but you can't do it with a camera free account. All right, so you wanna make sure that these lines stop where they should. Okay. So we'll duplicate a few more. And you can see that it's coming together pretty quickly. Okay. So let's see, we need I think maybe five. So let's do the date, odometer, and maybe I'll add one more column. And of course, you can put whatever columns you want in your tracker. All right, so that looks pretty good. Just have to line everything up. And you can always check Pinterest, look at other people's pins, look at Etsy. Just to get an inspiration if you've never seen a mileage tracker tracker uh, but usually they're used by you know people who have to track their miles for work or if someone you know has their own business and they need to track their mileage for tax purposes but yeah all different people use them for different reasons so you can figure out who your target audience is or target market is and then cater or design your tracker for that particular population audience because the tracker that you make for a woman who is who owns a business may not be the same tracker that you would sell to um, I don't know to a different to a different group so you want to just make sure you cater it to your niche whoever that might be okay and mileage tracker for women, that actually is a keyword in Amazon KDP. You wanna to try to niche down. Okay, um, what's this going to be? I think this was maybe, I'll do it, I'll say tolls. And then this way they can keep track of all of this. For purpose. Oops. Purpose of the trip. 
and then we'll just maybe just do like total miles. All right, uh, this one I'm gonna make smaller. Start and end. All right, make sure everything is lined up, and then you know, just change the font to make it whatever you like. another line. I'll just separate this one. Start. Now maybe just add yeah, I have one more line right in the middle. Alright, so now we've got our basic mileage tracker. So all you have to do is just add a heading. and you've got a basic mileage tracker. So I would suggest is if you plan on selling these is to do one like this, right? And save it as your basic tracker. And then if you wanna to try to make it look nice, you can play around with, you know, different fonts. So we'll have that one there. And then if you wanted to do one that was in the script, I don't know. I would necessarily pick that one. Definitely not that one. Let's see. But yeah, you could just you know, play around with it. Oops, I meant to make this track. All right. There you go. I'm trying to make it a little fancy. Or if you wanted to have some type of uh, graphics in there is a car. You could put maybe a car on each side and just really customize it however you want. There's no you know, right or wrong way, but you wanna do something to kind of distinguish yourself from the other trackers that are out there. So, you know, you could just you could pretty much do whatever you want. Let's see, so we'll copy. Just leave it basic. So, yeah. So, you can play around with it. See, yeah, these aren't going to line up the way I want it to. So, I'll just add tracker. And if you decide to sell these, feel free to copy this one if you want. I won't be selling it anywhere. So. If you like the idea and you want to do something like this, feel free. Okay, there you go. Now, and I've seen some on Etsy and other places where they've got, you know, flowers and things like that in the background. So you could also add that if you think your audience would like that. All right. So that is number one. That would move start and end down a little bit, but you get the idea. All right, so add a page. Oh, this is eight and a half by 11 US letter. Um, just so you know what size. All right, so the second thing we're going to do is a password tracker. And then for this one and for the third one, I am going to probably speed it up a little bit and let's let the music play. And then I will come back in to show you how you can create a very simple uh, printable in probably five minutes or less. Okay, so I will be back.
Okay, so what I have here is just a stationary page. So this is the last one, okay? So that second one was the password tracker. And then this third page is just simply a stationary page, which you can sell. Now, um, if you wanted to add other elements in there, you could, just depending on your niche, right? Uh, I forgot to actually uh, make these lines uh, lighter. But it's okay I'm just gonna leave it uh, so let's say you wanted to create stationery for uh, little girls right and you wanted to add let me see if I can find maybe a unicorn or something you can add you know a graphic in here on the side something like that um, you know, and then you can change the background so that it, it matches if you want to try one that's something like that. Um, let's see, let's duplicate this page. Okay, you could do one for a totally different niche. So let's say you wanted to create something for, I don't know, someone who's a fan of yoga you could put in something like this you could put in this corner and then create a background that might go with that but it's totally up to you okay and then if you wanted to match you know the colors in your graphic to match the background that wouldn't be a bad idea so let's see we'll make this black and then maybe make this let's see um let's look and see what Call orange okay to maybe match the background a little bit more Oh, that's okay. That's her skin. <laughs> we don't want to make her uh, turn her skin in that color. All right. So yeah. So you saw how how easy it was to do that, and you can do that with any, like I said, any niche. If you have people who, uh, if you're selling to people who love coffee, you can definitely do a coffee theme, and then. You, know, you could put something in the background that's really faint you know just so it's kind of there okay so you can play around with it and have a lot of fun with stationery actually all right so that's that's that that's stationary but I promise you if you stay to the end I would show you how to um, create something um, I'm sorry how to do a, a very simple printable and I'm going to show you how to do that now if you go to the home page and you just put in stationary you'll get all their stationary templates so if you don't want to do what I just did you can just select one of these. Now, if you don't have the pro plan, if you have a free plan, you can't use the ones that say pro. But there are some here that you can use. That's blank. Uh, like this one. This one is free to use. So it already has, you know, the lines in there. So you could just change the font. Something else, you can change the color. Okay, yeah, this has got an effect. So change the effect and change the color. Then you could change the background. You could change the color of the lines. See? So let's do a different background. Um, whatever you want. And then change the lines to match that. But you get the point. So you can have stationery that you create yourself 
in under five minutes. You could just add one of the elements that we talked about before. Okay, and then just make it a totally different page. And you don't have to worry about adding the lines and adding the text like I did. All right, you could just start with one of the templates. All right, so I hope that's helpful. If you're looking for very easy printables that you can make and sell on Etsy, if you think you can't make one because you don't have design experience, I don't have design experience either. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Um, if you like the video, if you learned anything new, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe so you'll know the next time I upload a video. I do plan on doing a video on the website Vecteezy to show you how I use different vector images. All right, so stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.